hello guys welcome again once again to my channel all right today i have an asa chromebook 311 all right that i want to put a windows on it i want to change the firmware to a windows all right i want to show you a different method of how to do this okay first of all we take off the back case all right and we can see that this it has a battery and this one you have to disable the battery for you to be able to disable the protection right it has a type c charger when you have a chromebook that has a type c charger this is what you do see what it will give you all right when you disable it it will be then you have to disable the verification mode after this you press s ctrl d then it goes to the developer mode all right you just have to wait for the developer mode after this then we will do the normal procedure with it in our previous videos um like the hp chromebook 11 the hp chromebook 14 we did in our previous videos all right it's just not the one that we did of changing the the firmware by using a um, bios chip all right so press ctrl d as you are seeing all right this now we are in the power mode so we have to set up the internet just how everything process is just the same thing so it's just the difference of you but if you have a chromebook that is a type c this is how you disable the protection right okay let's just do the necessary settings that we need to do before we get to the um, desktop all right so we just you don't have to set the password you are couple access if you have to teach your dean then you're ready all right let's just go to chrome let's, let's create our root password okay which is control alter back forward so forward button so we get here we type our root okay and we type our chrome so set dev pass okay after doing this we have to type our, add our admin password and when you are typing this admin password don't expect it to show type admin enter then you type an admin for verifying and enter then we exit it by and control water backward so this control alter t to enter the terminal type shell so we are ready now to put our code so we go to mr chromebook all right so on this chromebook you can have difficulty of entering the site all right the way you can enter you can use a support device then after support device, get to finger utility as you can see and you can copy your code you need for the firmware just copy it i prefer copying than typing people wants to type i don't know i've not typed before to see if it works but after copying and drop then you press enter okay it automatically reads it and make sure your internet is connected and your internet is very active for it to be able then you type in your password admin okay so we have to wait for it to load just a few minutes we are done okay all right press y to continue yes we have this the right protect which is the battery and then after pressing it y yes it takes us here so you press 2 to if you want you want to install the firmware then press y then you have to press accept you have to type in accept for and press enter for you to pass this process it's quite different from the other ones where we do not press we do not type in access accept so after typing accept you have to press enter and press y to continue which is yes we do not want to abort it rather want to continue so we have to now back up our firmware okay in case of any issue we just have to back up it and keep 
Farage. So it's number one, then we install. Saving then, okay, it's done saving. You press enter to continue. Okay, now it's loading the new firmware. We have to wait for a minute. Okay, it's done downloading. So arrow to reboot. And this process it may take up to up to five minutes or so for it to reboot. You just have to wait for it. As usual, you know, after after installing this, I'm going to drop the necessary driver I have that is available for now. Okay. And here is our Windows uh, Flash. So we plug it. Press Escape Refresh button together. All right. To restart, and we enter Escape to get to the boot menu. Then you choose the USB and select a Windows 10 Lite. All right. We continue. All right, this other process we know just know is quite simple. All right, but I just have to do this for the sake of I have to run the Windows drivers. The drivers are necessary for you to to be able to do yours if you want to install. Okay, so this process I'm not going to take. You have to just delete everything here. Make sure you delete everything here. And then you create new partitions all right so after we are done doing this what do we have to do again we just have to load the whole windows okay I believe I'm hard to cut from here I know it's understood from here so okay if you find this video helpful please uh, do well to follow me up all right by subscribing to my channel hit the notification button so that when anytime i drop a new video you will see and uh, you can so you come and watch all right so now um, also like and share the videos to your friends to those that need it all right okay we are almost done here so what we need now is to install the drivers um in this asa chromebook i only have um, the, the mouse drivers that is available i don't have for the speakers Okay, when I have it, I'm going to um, update it in the description of this video. Okay, for now, I don't have it, all right? So we have to put a, a name, you can name your PC, then if you want the password, that's okay. You should accept for assistance, all right? Okay, um, so we are almost done here. The drivers, I will definitely drop it on my, on the description of the video, all right? okay after inserting our flash drive all right here we have our softwares uh, our driver software so we launch and then uh, first uh, we install the mouse and that's the mouse it is working then the second drivers here we have we just install it all right we are done here see you in my next video thanks for watching